My first guest is an accomplished author. Her first book, Love Don't Make No Sense, was an instant success, and her current book, My Lawfully Wedded, is sure to do the same. So please, please welcome Chicago native, all the way from the Chi Town, although she's calling from, I believe, the West Coast crib. Please welcome Miss Chloe Carter to the show. Chloe, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Chi Town in the house, what's going on? I'm happy to be here. I'm calling from Los Angeles. It's 80 degrees today, so I'm happy. Oh, you're going to do it like that, right? <laughs> Well, it's good okay. weather in Atlanta. It's, I heard it's good weather in Atlanta. We, it was halfway decent, but we got this overcast. And you know, we just had uh, a, a typhoon come through here a couple of days ago, so we're not used to that foolishness. I was there. We sat on the runway for two hours because of that. Mm-hmm. Hey, Chloe, I want to ask you. You know, he, he, what's the what's the day in the life of Miss Chloe Carter like? Oh, wow. Um, I get up in the morning very early because I have a lot of phone calls to make to the East Coast. Um, I write. I'm actually writing two screenplays simultaneously. So I try to do that as if it was a full-time job, and then I work out and return phone calls, return emails, um, and that's pretty much it. Just grinding every day. Mm. She said grinding. I like that. I like when <laughs> a young lady such as yourself put that grind on, that hustle and flow on. Right. <laughs> Man, it, you are you are a busy for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All right. Um wow. Well, Having read your bio with an education in journalism and writing, you seem to already have had this journey planned out. Would that be a fair assessment as you uh, dove into the literary world? You know, I it's like I I kind of went full circle because I studied journalism in school, and then I wrote for a newspaper. I was a news reporter, then a news anchor. Then I got out of the business. Um, did a bunch of, you know, odd and end jobs that I didn't like, uh, got married, was a housewife, um, was just doing some soul searching, and um, I kind of just fell back into writing. It wasn't something that I consciously said, oh, I want to write a book. I kind of just, you know, had a journal. I was the type of person that everyone calls for advice, Everyone, even strangers, like I can sit on the plane, for example, I was on the plane the other day, this young lady sat down and she talked to me the entire four hours about her life. She was like, I never do this, I don't even know you, I just felt so comfortable and I just, you know, I wanted to tell you everything and that's just pretty much how it's always been for me. So with that being said, you know, like we'll have a conversation and then I'll get home and I'll write in my journal you know, the conversation that took place between her and I. And one day I bought a brand-new computer, and I was putting what I had in my notebook into my computer, and I had, like, 50 pages full of stuff. And I was like, wow, you know, I have something here. So I kind of just tweaked it from there. And um, every day I said, before I do anything else, I'm going to type 10 pages. And sometimes, creatively, I was able to type 50. You know, sometimes I had writer's block and I couldn't do anything. Um, Then I would go back and edit it. And I don't know, for anybody that's a writer, you know in the editing process you end up chopping it up completely and you start over again. And So, I mean, it was a process. But once I got going... Um, it didn't even start as a business or it was just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, I have something. And then, you know, I was like, I'll just sell it to 100 people that I know. And once I did that and people, yeah, and people were like, oh, my God, I love the story. Like, 
you know, it made me laugh, it made me cry, and, you know, and it was like, wow. So, I mean, that's kind of how it happened. And, you know, I just feel like purpose is something that you have to discover and it's already in you, in you. and I don't think there's one way, there's, there's not one way for everybody. I think everybody has to find their own path in life. 